Welcome to Gospel Greetings, which I'm sending to you from Ixtapa, Mexico. Our leader impact team of 22 people are on the ground, and I preached at one of our partner churches Sunday morning. Three people came to Christ. Amazing. This week, we continue our series called Signs of the Times. Last week, we did prayer, session number four on warfare in prayer from Acts 12, where King Herod seized Peter and put him in prison, intending to bring him out for public trial after the Passover. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. In Acts 12, we see the prevailing power of prayer against evil. It is warfare in the spirit. The people were praying all night for Peter. And through the angel, God did a miracle. We have this same authority in prayer. This week, we continue on to session number five, intercession, from Ephesians 6, 18 to 20. <clears throat> and I pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all types of prayers and requests. In the Spirit, with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. We could say in extapa. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. This appeal for various prayers comes at the end of the most sec a lengthy section of scripture on spiritual warfare. Paul has appealed for us to put on the full armor of God or the whole panoply because we are fighting evil forces. Now he wraps up this section with two subjects on prayer. The first is prayer for all the saints. The second is prayer for me. First of all, prayer for everyone. He reminds us to be alert. Watch not only against evil, but offer also for opportunities to do good and for opportunities to receive good. Without watchfulness, prayer, and all the spiritual armor will be useless. And we need to do this with perseverance. Always be praying for your business, your family, your city, and major happenings in our world, not just for ourselves, but for all Christians too in our neighborhood and those even that are being persecuted around the world. The second is pray for me. This is one of eight times that Paul asks for personal prayer. What the apostle desires them to pray for is that words may be given him, the inspired words led by the Spirit that will draw men to Christ so that he can proclaim the mystery of the gospel. This mystery is the new and universal grace of God through Jesus to all who believe. This gospel was made known to Paul. He desires inspiration to make it known to others. The gospel is still a mystery till we make known by divine revelation God's plan. And it is the work of each of us as Christ ambassadors in the marketplace to declare it. Today, I, like Paul, need your prayers, especially while we're here sharing Christ in Ixtapa. Will you pray daily for Marquita and I and our team, for Adam Babineau, John Westbrook, David and Elizabeth Sim, Sam Sega, Pastor Doug Ward, Yes, please pray. Father, by the Spirit, let us continually be about prayer and supplication. Give our team the Spirit-led words and draw many to Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.